So in this problem, we're told to evaluate the indefinite integral you see for the constant of integration of the integral of cosine of x over sine of x to the 12th power times dx. So the first thing that we have to do, since we're using u substitution, is to decide what we're going to use, or what we're going to set to be equal to u. So in this case, I think the best thing to do would be set u equal to sine of x, because the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x, so that could cancel. So I'm going to set u equal to the sine of x. So if u equals sine of x, the next thing we have to do is find the derivative of it. So du is just the derivative of sine of x, which is the cosine of x, times dx. You always got to add uh, the dx or time d times your variable after it. And so next what we got to do is solve for dx. So we can divide both sides by cosine of x. And uh, we'll be able to find d of x. So d of x is going to be equal to d of u over the cosine of x. Now what we want to do is rewrite our integral. So our integral is going to be cosine of x over, and then what we're going to want to do is replace sine of x with u. And so this is the same thing as the sine of x raised to the 12th, but we just got to replace that with u. So on the bottom we have u to the 12th. And so what you can notice here is that uh, this thing right here, we can write as just cosine of x times 1 over u to the 12th. And 1 over u to the 12 is the same thing as u to the minus 12, right? So what I'm going to do is just move it out front, actually. So we're going to have u to the minus 12 times the cosine of x. Then we have dx, right? And then we got to replace it with whatever we solve for dx for. So in this case, it's du over the cosine of x. So we've got it in this form. Now you can realize that cosine of x will cancel with this one. So these will cancel, and we'll just be left with u the minus 12 times du. So what we got to do is find the antiderivative of our function on the inside. So u to the minus 12 is going to become u. Then we add 1 to the minus 12 becomes minus 11. Then we got to divide by our new exponent. So it basically just becomes minus 1 over 11 uh, times u to the minus 11. And then we got to add c, right? So plus c, and then because we're, we're taking the antiderivative, you always got to add a constant. So now that we got this, all we got to do is replace u with what we chose u to be, which is sine of x. So if we go ahead and do that, we'll get minus 1 over 11 times u, which is sine of x, uh, raised to the minus 11, and then plus c. So this right here is going to be our final answer.